Welcome to Couch Surfing, the show where award-winning guests look back at their big roles, their little roles, and everything in between. I'm here with the great Forrest Whitaker. Forrest? Hey. Hey. Good to be here. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, ghost dog. Ghost dog. <laughs> yeah, I love working on that film. That um, what you got in your briefcase? It's interesting because, like, me and Jim Jarmish, we met in a Super 8 parking lot. You know, we were getting some film and we started talking and... Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> there's, like, the Super 8 film stock and uh -huh. we both had Super 8 cameras and so uh, he was leaving and I was coming in and we started talking. We said, oh, let's, let's work together. And then, like about a year or so later, he said, "Hey, I got an idea." And then he came over, and uh, then we would—he would come into LA, and we would just sit and talk for hours, like maybe five, six hours. And he'd say, "Okay, I'll, I'll see you." And that went on for months. You know? What were you talking about? We talk about codes. We talk about like, uh, you know, philosophies, uh, martial arts, uh, different types of things. You know, and and then at some point he said, "Okay, I, I have what I need. I'm going to go away." I'm going to go write, and then he went to his place where he goes to write, and he created. Now, spoiler alert, your character dies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. But could there be a ghost dog, too? Well, I mean. Maybe a ghost face killer. RZA does a soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, RZA has been playing around with We've been playing around with RZA and talking about it with Jim, and we talked about it being more of a television series. I wouldn't be me, but uh, we've been playing around with that and working on the, on the script and stuff, so we'll see what happens.